Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 28 in the PHP programming tutorial series and before I start this video I just need to make a, one little request um, I don't mind answering messages you know it's fine I'll answer messages any questions you have send me a PM but there are two things I want you to do before you message me number one look through my videos because the answer might already be on a video so you don't have to wait for me to answer and number two if you do want to ask a short question, ask it on the comments section of the video because that way, if I answer it on the comments, then that question's already been answered for someone who maybe has the same question, so it helps them as well. Because I have hundreds and uh, nearly a 1,000 unread messages, and it is really time consuming for me. I don't mind, I'll, like, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it will be easier if you did it that way for both of us, or well, sorry, all of us. But um, moving on onto the video. In the previous video we looked at how to create a table through a MySQL query in PHP and we're going to be going back to the um, SQL uh, syntax again in this video and looking at how to insert values into a into a table that we've made. So let's just look at this users to table we made in the previous video. If we click on, we'll click on browse actually because we have entries. We have the ID, username, password, first name and last name we have all of those um, columns there in this table so one two three four five and we added a little mock entry through the PHP my admin um, panel here but what we want to do in this video is actually add data through a PHP file without accessing this PHP my admin that way users can add their own entries into a database so we're just going to click on if you click on the account here back to the main database accounts and you should see um, empty or clear on the database, just click that because that way we can um, get rid of the mock information that we've already got in it. Okay, so back to the coding, let's start coding this main application. Okay, so the first, obviously we need to create our PHP opening and closing tags so it recognizes a PHP file. We're going to call this um, data.php Okay, so we need to start this off exactly as we started off the previous tutorial. And if you remember, all we did was we created the connection to the MySQL database. Then we selected the database accounts and then we made our own table called users2. So what we're going to do, as we did in the last tutorial, whoops, it's part time. Make a variable called accounts and that's going to be MySQL underscore connect. And in brackets, we need our three parameters, which the first is localhost, which is the server then a comma and then the second is going to be the username root and a third is the password and mine is password now it's important to note that these three values will be different depending on what you're working on <coughs> excuse me so my username and password is customized to root and password yours might be different and obviously if you're using a external database a local host won't work for the address okay so underneath this you need to type or die and in brackets mysql underscore error and then finish that off with a semicolon and now we need to select our database and we this is called accounts you might have called yours something different so if you go onto your PHP my admin it should be called up here you go to localhost you have a list of databases if you remember we called ours accounts so if you're coming straight from this video and you haven't watched a previous one your database might be different so you need to put it whatever the name of the database is so we type MySQL underscore select underscore DB and then in brackets and the first part the first parameter is the name of the database accounts and then we have a comma and after that we need to put the variable which holds our connection which is up here accounts okay so this is where it gets different so we're just going to create our MySQL underscore query code down here so type MySQL underscore query and then in brackets, we want first our query, which is going to be held in the SQL variable. We're going to determine that in a second, don't worry. And then have a comment. And then have another variable, which is our connection up here, accounts. Okay, so now it's time to look at the SQL syntax and how to insert data into a table. So we will first create our string variable here, which is this SQL that we're putting inside this, the um, brackets. Sorry, I woke up with a bit of a sore throat. It's kind of hitting my voice, but what we need to do to um, insert data is simply type insert into, and this 
insert tells SQL that we want to insert data and when we say into after this we need to type the name of the table and once again if you're watching this from the previous tutorial we named our table as users2 but if you're watching this because you've stumbled across this video you need to type the name of your table which is right here and obviously ours is users2 so we'll just type users2 insert into users2 it's quite logical when you think about it and the next thing we need to do is specify the fields in the table what we want to insert into so in brackets we need to type all of our fields in here and it's important to note they do not need any sort of quotations you just type them as plain text okay so the first one is if we click on structure and we can see all of the fields the first one right now we don't need to type id and the reason for that is this auto increments if you look here auto increment this will just add its own value each time so we don't need to use this so the first one technically is username so if we go back onto here in the first part of the brackets type username and then we have a comment remember there's no <coughs> there's no quotations the second one is password so comment password comment and the next one is first which is going to be the first name comment and then the last one is last Okay, so, so far we just have insert into users2, it sounds logical, and in brackets we're just specifying the fields that we want to insert data into. Now, all we need to do is type values, and then in commas, the same thing again, but in this case we need to have um, quotations to specify the data we want to enter into it. So, I'm going to use this in single quotations, because we have double quotations around this variable. So, you put a single quotation, and then the first value we're going to enter now what you need to do is you need to make sure the values you enter in here match up to the values you enter in here and by that I mean the first um, parameter the first set of um, data that's here needs to be the username and then after the comma the second there must be the password because you can change these around you can enter it the same way and it will just insert like this the first one here as the first one here second one here second one here if you know what I mean I'm sorry if you don't understand what that means but just try and watch it over again. So the username, we're going to insert the username as teach me computer. That'll be our username. Well, actually, that might be a bit long because we specified a short um, <coughs> limit. So we'll just type Chris as the username. And then we need to have a comma. And then in brackets again, um, the password, we'll just put that as pass123, something simple. Then have a comma and then a space and then... Um, we're going to have a first name, it's going to be Chris. And then the last value, which is last name, is going to be Johnson. Okay, so let's just look over this one more time. So we're just clear on how what's happening. And um, we just say insert into users2. So we're just specifying that we want to insert into the table. <coughs> well, yeah. Insert into the table users2. And then in brackets, we just specify each field that we want to insert into. So we could take out this password and then just have username first and last and then we just have three values here or we could put last as the second value here and then it, it would insert pass123 as the last name so these are very important the way you organize these and then we type values and in brackets we, need, we have the values you want so username will be chris password pass123 and so on so almost forgot our semicolon here type that there and hit save so this was called data.php so if we go here you'll see we've presented with no error that means it should have worked if you go into here click on users2 and um, we have all of the information we have here Chris pass123 Chris Johnson and you can see it also in inserted the ID for us so if we just visit this again it will insert the same ones again and you'll see it has ID as 2 so this it worked and um, everything was done correctly that's how to insert data and what got, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to, you can customize it so a user can insert data um, do I have enough time I think I do um, actually I don't looking at the, the clock because we've got a 15 minute limit I probably wouldn't be able to set it all up but I'll do that in the next um, video or I'll leave that until the community videos so Thanks for watching the video guys, hopefully this helped, I'm sorry for the big break but I'm not going to lie and say I was like doing exams, I was just been playing Modern Warfare 3 the whole time and it's 
oh, it's so good. I hope you guys are enjoying the game as well. So make sure um, if you have any questions, as I said, look through. First step is to look through my videos. Second step is to comment on this video with the question. And then if I don't get around to seeing the comment by accident, then just leave me a PM as well. So um, I'll see you guys later and peace.